Hi Pisces, welcome to the Soul Song. This is Nina and this is going to be your love story reading for the next three to four weeks. Uh, we are looking at the energy that's playing out between you and somebody else. Keep in mind that this is a very general reading. Uh, for those of you who are new here, my name is Nina and uh, thank you for joining me today. For those of you who are returning, welcome back and thank you for your continued support. So I'm just pulling out some cards from my deck. I get a feeling like this is somebody you know from the past, okay? It could either be a reconciliation or there's something playing out here from the past. That's the kind of feeling that I'm getting like this. Possibly someone who in this dynamic has resisted, uh, you know, the way they felt for the other person in the past and now they're willing to open up, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. That's a good sign of something to come in. Secret admirer. Okay, <laughs> somebody is watching you from a distance. You've got commitment and release the ex. Okay, so there is that energy of the past that is playing out. Whether that is, you know, just energetically somebody has not released the past, released the ex, or there is um, possibly someone that you're still hung up on, okay? Either way, there is uh, a need here to let go of and release the ex or the past in some way, okay? Because there is possibly someone who wants to come in with a commitment, okay? For some of you, I feel like you may be a little bit, little bit hung up on someone from the past who is committed to somebody else, okay? So take it as it resonates. We'll see what Taro has to say about that. But there's definitely somebody keeping an eye on you, maybe checking out your social media from time to time to see uh, what's happening in your life and trying to keep up with that, okay? You've got the Six of Swords. the devil okay and the six of wands so two sixes here we have the moon mm. lots of secrecy the eight of pentacles and the tower okay i'm hearing i can't control myself anymore okay somebody is really holding back okay let's see yeah holding back perhaps their feelings we have the king of cups here at the bottom of the day let's see your cards seven of pentacles the empress i like seeing that and the page of cups that's nice the wheel of fortune okay the ten of pentacles Let's get one more. The lovers. Ooh. At the bottom of the deck, the sun. Let me just adjust the camera and we'll get going. Okay. So whose energy is this? This is likely to be somebody from the past who is trying to get your attention. I'm almost getting like a, you know, come hither to me kind of energy. Somebody's trying to draw your attention. And this may be somebody who is uh, a bit manipulative as well in the sense that you know how somebody um, when they want to call the shots or they're not really in it perhaps for love but they are in it to get attention to seek validation okay that's the word that I was seeking okay so I feel like this could be somebody like that, okay, whose energy is showing up here. And you may have uh, some sort of karma with this person, which you are still trying to process and release and let go of, okay. It could be somebody who's also quite popular on social media, something like that, okay. We've got the ship and the boat there with the six of swords. So this could be somebody... Uh, who is at a distance from you? We've got the stars. Hmm. 
I've got the heart. Let's get some more. The rider. The woman. And the lily. Okay. You have the ring at the bottom of the deck. So there is some commitment that is coming through but I feel like it's not yet here okay so the devil to me is like a codependent sort of excessive obsessive addictive energy but very very tempting this person is probably like crazy addicted or obsessed with you and that could be the energy of that secret admirer who is watching you from a distance okay but they're keeping things under wraps. But I get the feeling like things are going to be revealed to you very soon. Okay. The tower is going to fall. And whatever secret this person has been keeping. You know. Um, something that you have probably not paid attention to. Maybe you had intuitively felt that. It is going to come to light. Okay. Because the moon is again about secrecy. About um, things that are hidden beneath the surface. And with the stars there, I feel like this could be entirely online or it could be simply that, you know, the the stars illuminate basically, okay. So something is going to be illuminated here with the tower, the moon and the stars there, okay. And that could simply be that um, there's some thing that this person has been hiding from you or they themselves have been hiding from you. And that's going to come to light okay with the six of swords and the ship there again there could be a distance between you and this person but um, I do feel like you have some sort of past uh, you know possibly some challenges that you went through with this person in the past because the previous card is the five of swords which is conflict okay and you have the whip here so confrontation conflict okay and uh, pain agony so this person is somebody who is now willing to move past whatever has happened okay and i i don't know i'm also getting like this person's uh wanting to move on from whatever has happened and they want to um get past that okay to move on from trouble times from that conflict that maybe wasn't resolved uh, and move on to something new something better okay so that's the energy with which they are coming in but in their mind and heart there's a lot going on okay uh, they may also be like it could simply be that they are super duper attracted to you almost obsessed with you okay so just be a little careful about that and they see you probably as this uh, shining, popular person who's got a lot of uh, suitors and a lot of attention, okay? And their most likely action is the moon, the tower, and the eight of pentacles. I feel like um, this is kind of like divine intervention. Whatever's going to come to light is not going to be on their own accord. Um, alternatively it is possible that this person has a, an awakening so they realize that and they finally accept that they have feelings for you and that all of those feelings that have been brewing under the surface are now erupting and they need to be expressed okay though I'm not getting like communication cards here so I don't think that is the case for many of you for most of you this is uh, some truth coming to light okay you've got the seven of pentacles um, this is somebody you have invested in okay somebody who I feel you may have almost given up on but now it's like I don't know should I invest more time in this situation should i let it go what do i do there's that whole reviewing and assessing that is happening okay and um, in your mind and heart you have a lot of love a lot of unconditional love to offer whether this person's worth it or not i don't know but then um, i like that you are showing up also as the empress 
who is not just nurturing but also somebody who is a badass you know like a boss woman someone who knows their worth okay so i like that for you and you have the woman here as well with the lily the rider and the heart you do have a lot of feelings okay you have this cup to offer with the page of cups um and there is flirty there is a flirtatious vibe here okay there might also be like a lot of chemistry between you and this person so there's this sexual energy also that i'm picking up on okay and no surprise to see the lovers there because th this feels like someone who's um very very attractive okay at least you feel very drawn to this person but uh, the lovers is also about a choice so your intention here is to make a choice to make a decision and you might be having a change of heart i feel okay but with the tower here and the wheel of fortune something is going to play out which is kind of fated okay i feel like either some truth is going to come to light or some a uh, series of events is going to take place that is going to kind of force you to make a choice make a decision about this person okay and whether you choose to stay with them or leave them and move to a new connection we'll see okay but there is definitely some change happening here in this equation and that is probably reliant on what can i uh gain from this connection not in a um not in a selfish way but what can i build with this person okay is this going to reach the 10 of pentacles or not and there might even be the influence of other people here is what i'm feeling okay it's interesting that they have the devil you have the lovers and in the devil card we always see the lovers okay so the devil is kind of playing the puppet master and uh, the lovers are you know the puppets so there is something here that is a bit excessive okay and that could be simply a um, habitual way of thinking some pattern that is playing out in your love life okay that keeps getting repeated some karmic pattern so where is this heading we have the hangman so that's your card pisces death okay the king of wands okay so aries leo sag the chariot that's a cancer energy 10 of wands who is this king of wands who is this king of wands seven of swords so that could be the person who is keeping an eye on you okay who is spying on you perhaps five of pentacles okay and the king of swords at the bottom of the deck the princess of pentacles so that could be a new start in a new direction perhaps okay so king of wands king of swords I do feel like you have a choice to make here but for that you're going to have to release let go of separate yourself energetically from somebody from the past who was either deceptive or they didn't fully express their feelings okay uh they are very very attractive and you also may be super attracted to this person but this is someone who kept you on hold perhaps for a long time okay and that is coming to an end with the death card there this is in and the 10 of wands this is like an ending of a situation letting go releasing moving on with the chariot there you're regaining your power you are not going to compromise is what i'm getting okay and you have the self confidence to go through it um there could also be some movement perhaps okay if somebody is approaching the other person there could be some movement some travel but mostly i see this as you taking back your power okay and with the king of swords there someone is cutting cords separating from a situation that was not really healthy that was either getting too burdensome or you know 
it was leaving you feeling depleted and feeling less than in some way okay feeling unworthy in some way um so it was not playing out in a good way at all okay and that is someone that you are probably cutting cords from yeah we have the two of pentacles there and lo and behold the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck so there is new love possibly coming towards you pisces um for some of you this could even be in some in terms of signs we have um the devil could be capricorn okay uh we have a lot of swords so we've got air energy as well um gemini libra aquarius but it doesn't have to be we've got earth again here so taurus and libra and uh, we've got cancer we've got aries leo sag and gemini libra aquarius again i feel like you will reach a point where you will need to make a choice a decision okay and this card is coming right above the seven of swords so it's quite possible that whoever you're dealing with like i said in the beginning is committed elsewhere so they're juggling between you and this other person which is obviously not fair to you right so that could be the case for some of you let's get some messages from this person to you what would they like to say to pisces if they could say something what would they say let's take things one day at a time i hope i haven't lost you getting to know each other we had the heart to heart conversations at the bottom of the deck my surroundings didn't approve of you hmm like i was saying i do get the feeling like there's an influence here of other people you know from the community the family i want to marry you oh my god okay i realize my mistake now hmm so that could be the realization that is dawning upon this person okay they're definitely going through some kind of an awakening let's get some more i'm not the person i used to be so they are coming in with uh as a changed person is what i feel okay we did have the death card there okay i check your social media to see what you're up to what did i say there's spying going on like some heavy duty spying you feel like home to me that is beautiful you're everything i've ever wanted and more oh my god like this is chemistry of the charts okay someone's got like really really deep feelings for you and i am sensing a lot of uh, sexual chemistry a lot of intimacy as well okay all right so what is the guidance here for pisces back to what you love reevaluate your desires i'm almost getting like a reconciliation vibe back to what you love okay and this card fell out we have honesty is essential speak with love and truth that is the guidance for you pisces so it's quite possible that you are also doing you know the same thing that is being mirrored back to you you're also keeping an eye on them perhaps and not opening up okay or not revealing your true feelings be supportive make a genuine effort to show you care okay so that's good advice now let's see what they can look forward to what can pisces look forward to love makes the difference love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self worth appreciate this moment every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love and we've got take a chance on love okay somebody is likely to take a chance okay it's interesting this reminds me a lot of the 6 of swords which is what this person is coming in as okay someone wants to move on from the past and 
start afresh perhaps but on a rather slow note okay and realizing that they did make some mistakes in the past that they would like to rectify spiritual connection a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime at the bottom of the deck actions speak loudly express your love through actions i do feel like there is going to be honesty okay um maybe both of you need to have that heart to heart conversation and deal with it is what i'm hearing you know put it out on the table and say hey here it is um it makes me feel vulnerable but i'm going to take a chance on it okay that is what i have for you <laughs> interesting reading pisces um beneath the ace of cups we have the eight of wands so there is some communication coming in perhaps um yeah i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please hit the like button and uh, uh subscribe to the channel okay and i will see you again later god bless have a wonderful month ahead bye bye